A young and ambitious reporter, Aaron, who had always dreamed of covering mysterious news stories, traveled to different places and conducted research from his laptop. One day, he received news of a stranger's death in a small town. He went to the police station to ask for information about the strange death, but the police were evasive and told Aaron that a dangerous species living in the forest was responsible for the death. Aaron became suspicious and began to inquire further. He discovered that people had been missing for 30 years and that bodies were often found days after they went missing. He also found that the same thing was happening in other towns. He went to these towns to investigate and found that the police in these towns were hiding something. His curiosity was piqued and Aaron decided to dig deeper and met with an investigator who had previously looked into the missing cases. Hi, my name is Aaron, I'm a journalist, I heard about the strange death in this small town, and I'm here to investigate. Oh, I see. My name is John. I'm an investigator. I'm glad I found you, I've been trying to get information from the police, but they're being evasive. Yeah, the police are hiding something. But I can't tell you everything yet. I need to know that I can trust you first. I understand. I'm just here to uncover the truth. Can you tell me what you know about the missing cases? Well, 30 years ago, there was a research facility located in the middle of the forest on the mountain that separates all the towns. The government started several projects there during a war, but after some scary incidents, the facility was shut down. However, government officials and some scientists secretly continued to run the facility, and some biotech companies also got involved. So, the missing people were used as subjects in these experiments? Yes, that's what I believe. But if you want to know more, you'll have to go to the research facility yourself. But I have to warn you, if you go, you might not come back. I've decided to go. Be careful, Aaron, and keep in touch. He would have to go to the research facility himself. As he entered the forest, Aaron realized that it was getting dark and he was feeling scared. He took a flashlight and walked deeper into the forest. The forest was eerily silent, with no animals or birds to be heard. Finally, he saw the research center, which looked like an old, abandoned building with big walls and no lights. He walked closer to the building and saw a light in one of the windows. He walked around the building and saw that some of the walls were broken and that the building was in disrepair. He entered the building and found an elevator, but when he tried to climb the elevator cable, but cable cuts, so Aaron falls two floors down, and he goes to the unconscious. When Aaron opened his eyes, his leg and hands are locked in a chair, and he saw cameras and other equipment around him. A doctor came in and told him that. Arrived at the perfect time. Don't worry. It is good that you came here. Who are you? What are you doing to me? Two men came and took him to another room and locked him in a machine. The machine started to suck his blood and water from his body. Another part of the machine had needles ready to inject something. Suddenly, the machine stopped and someone said. Again problem happens, we need to reboot the system. Hurry and solve the problem. And I have a work to do and call me when it was done. A different man came and released Aaron and told him that you are a reporter I know, you want help to stop all projects. Aaron asked what projects, the man said you needed to escape, Aaron asked, why you not come with me? The man said, I can't because in the forest, a toxic substance mixed in the air. I can't breathe, come with me. That time some guards attempted to attack, and the different men stepped in and killed them all, Aaron take a security access key from the guards. The alarm was activated and more security guards arrived, but a different man said I will handle it, you run. On the way, Aaron found some person in cells, and he releases them all using the access key. But some person tries to attack, so he runs again. Aaron tried to open some doors, he entered one door using the access key, and discovered it led to the building's power source, he tried to power it off, but the entire building into darkness. Suddenly, a man named Eugene entered the room, stating that he had worked as a scientist for three years and would help Aaron if they trusted him. The scientist directed Aaron to a control room where they could find files and a way out of the facility. Eugene provided another access key and as the power came back on, Aaron ran fast toward the elevator and went to the fourth floor. 
To their horror, they discovered terrifying creatures and humans eating guards and scientists. Aaron quickly descended to the lower floors, the same thing also happens here, and he goes to the last floor, where they found many dead bodies. Aaron vomited. Then he saw steps and he went to the fourth floor. Finally, Aaron find the control room. He entered the control room, but no one was there. He saw the computer, the leaders of the project had escaped through an underground tunnel, and a private army was on its way. He heard a noise outside the door, he quickly closed it and saw a monster. Aaron spotted a ventilator as a means of escape, grabbed some files and video records, and used it to leave the building. Finally, Aaron came outside. He heard gunfire in the building and ran into the forest to escape.